my top five NFL teams after week five. I'm going to give you a quick, okay? Number five, Detroit Lions. They're coming off a bye. Uh, I think they're one of the most balanced teams in the league. I mean, they have Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery in the backfield. They have a very good offensive line. They also have a good defense. Terion Arnold is a good corner. Aiden Hutchinson, he's also one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. I mean, I like this team a lot. A lot. There's a lot of things they can really do. And also on the offensive side of the ball, Jamison Williams has been absolutely sensational. I mean, this guy is an absolute speedster. I mean, they can put him on jet sweeps. They could put him in the slot. They can do a lot of different things with them, which also opens up the passing game more for Sam Laporta and Amon Ra St. Brown. And Jared Goff, I mean, in the last game against the Seahawks, went perfect. He had a hundred percent completion percentage. That's good. So I like the Lions at five, the Commanders at four. We know Jaden Daniels. They're building a strong foundation with that man. They're building a strong foundation with that man. He continues to sling the ball down the field, and he has the trust and the belief of this entire coaching staff and this entire team because there was a play in their last game where it was like, oh, I want to go down the field. It was, again, the Cleveland defense, okay, who's, like, really struggled. And he, Jaden Daniels is running from the sideline and telling, hey, Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury, let's take a shot. He trusts Jaden. He takes a shot. So I'm like, okay, they believe in this man. That's all you need. And also, this is a little bit of a long shot for Devontae Adams, but keep an eye on the Washington Commanders. Keep an eye on it. Now let's go to number three, the Baltimore Ravens. They're still playing good football. They started 0-2, but they've rebounded. They've won three in a row. I, I like Lamar Jackson's resiliency against some of these top teams in the league. He's really showcased his ability, like I kind of talked about later. And then number two, the Minnesota Vikings. They're 5-0. and They're playing really good football right now. Their offense is really good. Aaron Jones did get injured. He's got that hip injury, but I'm sure he'll come back. Um, Justin Jefferson, best receiver in the league. They also still have Jordan Addison. Sam Darnold has been playing really good football to start the year. So I, I like the Vikings. They're shocking a lot of people right now. I didn't think they'd be leading the NFC North going into week six. And then number one, this hasn't changed for me at all. The Kansas City Chiefs. They're undefeated as well. They, they're down with Rasheed Rice, Isaiah Pacheco. I mean, they're down offensive weapons, and they're still figuring out ways to win. Kareem Hunt stepped up big time. He's been leading the backfield. Carson Steele as well. He's been coming in as a rookie. He's been doing some things. And this Chiefs defense is still really good. I mean, you still got Chris Jones, who is arguably one of the best pass, rush, pass rushers in the league as well. And then you got Patrick Mahomes. And whether Kelsey keeps doing his thing or not, we'll see. But, I mean, without Rasheed Rice, he's going to have to. So, And he's the best tight end in the league regardless. So I think you can rely on him. But those are my top five teams in the league right now. Yeah. 